Okay, so I was at the British Shooting Show this weekend and I got a chance to look at something I've been very excited about which is the new Pitch Black Hunter night vision unit uh, designed by Nick Wenham. Uh, Nick was there uh, with a trade stand. I'd spoken to him by email before I went to the show um, and I wanted to see one in the flesh because it is a very new product and uh, I didn't want to buy it blind, uh, mail order. But uh, took a look at the product, um, it really is something quite different uh, and I think very special and I was very glad to bring one back with me. So here it is, here's the unit, included is Nick Wenham's personal card, you can get in touch with the designer, he includes his uh, mobile number, email address and website, comes with a manual basic care instructions, it outlines the controls and operation of the unit and most importantly the zeroing because it really is nothing like anything else um, out, out there at the moment for zeroing. It's not like a regular scope or even iron sights. It's a logical process zeroing the, the unit but it, it is something different that has to be learned a bit. Uh, it also outlines some care and maintenance and because it is a new product out Naturally, there are some amendments to the instruction booklet. Okay. So here's the unit itself. It's full aluminium. It's, it's, you can tell it's a quality thing by the, by the sort of the, the weight of it and the strength of the unit. This is the illuminating reticle infrared there's a control on the back, the green button, this is a Mark II model by pushing the button it pops out and that will turn on the infrared illuminator when the unit's on um, this, is, this, is, this feature's been put on to conserve battery life because sometimes you just don't need the illuminating reticle on um, it can cause problems if you're using it daylight, you can get a bit too much glare off of it there's a lens cover protecting the lens which is a fixed unit on there, fixed magnification of five times, has a standard sort of dovetail one piece mount because the unit does of course uh, replace a conventional scope on the rifle. This is a right handed version, the screen folds out to one side. There is a left handed version that you can get hold of, it's not a problem but you have to choose either a right or a left handed version to begin with. There's a video output also on this Mark II version, so you can take this to a digital video recorder, which is what I hope to be doing later on. The unit's turned on or off by a simple on-off rocker switch. There's an electronic menu driven, like most gadgets nowadays, and there's a small rubberized joystick for scrolling through the menu settings. The charger's plugged in here, and there is a bulb fuse holder to protect the unit from an overload. Cleverly mounted on the back of the monitor is the Allen key and there are three buttons which control a, another menu for brightness, colour saturation uh, and just the video controls of the screen itself. So to turn the unit on, simply flick the switch on and it comes on straight away comes pre-programmed with a fairly standard just thin crosshair reticle um, something I'll talk about later is obviously these, these, the reticle on there is not a thin line they are in actual fact uh, very very thin rectangles and that really is how you have to consider um, the crosshairs on this and you can design and program in your own Unit comes with a spare fast blow bulb fuse, which is very handy. And there is an anti glare tube, which simply fits over the, the infrared illuminator. The purpose of this is when it's mounted on your gun at night, it focuses the beam further away from you and protects it, uh, guards against any glare that might come back off the barrel or your sound moderator, giving you a, a clearer picture through the lens here. One last thing in the box is obviously the charger, 
12 volt charger, it's a fairly standard thing. Um, it has a red and a green LED uh, which give you an indication of uh, when the battery is charged up. But you, you should get around, I think, 12 hours out of this, they're, they're quoting. In the media they're saying possibly more, but I'll run a test and we'll find out later on.